All right, so load of the day. This is the small stuff, guys, and I, I got a propane tank too. It's gonna go in my pile. Um, so there's some aluminum extrusion. I think there's even a couple pieces of copper under too, but that's not else what I got. I got this. Let's see, I got a wash machine. Um, generator, I have no idea if it works. So, we'll see. Um, and fridge. And we got a power bank down in there, so you know what's in that, baby. Oh, yeah. And another lawnmower to clean. Um, exercise bike. And a hot water tank, guys. That's what we got. That's what we had of this load. So, we'll, uh... We'll get this unloaded. I'm going to set it right here for now because I need the trailer for tomorrow because I can make up the siding and stuff tomorrow. Because we're going to put some, uh, I got to get siding and I got to get the uh, um, insulation. Uh, it's like a board that you put behind the uh, siding. So I got to do that. I got to pick that up tomorrow. So I need the trailer empty. So I'm going to be doing that. Make sure the trailer's unloaded. I don't know if I'm going to make the scrap yard today. I'm not sure. I still got all this stuff here. I got to clean up. Got a lot more there. I got to do yet. Got to take the motor off it. Uh, we'll see if I can get a load out. Yesterday was a surprise load because I went in town, picked it up, then I took it. Well, I came back here to check on my mom. My mom's not been feeling all that well. She's, uh, yeah, she, uh, I don't know. She's off. My mom's just not feeling, um, you know, she's been sleeping a lot. So, nap, and she doesn't sleep well at night, I guess she said. So, time to go to the doctor again. Time to make another appointment for her to go see the doctor and get checked out, make sure blood and everything's all good. Because I never know, right? The meds always, sometimes the meds back up on her and different things happen. So, so she's going to, I think, trip to the, the doctor again. But anyhow, I get this off and my puppy's sleeping. Well, she was, she's probably awake now. All right, so the pickup today was just um, pretty much catching up stuff I had to get done, things that I hadn't picked up. The rack, which um, same, the guy that uh, sold me my truck, he uh, he had it for me. He gives me all his scrap and stuff, and this was off a truck or something, I don't know, but he said I could have it, and it's been in there. Well, I got sick there for, what, a week or whatever, and then mom was sick and stuff, so I just didn't get a chance. And he was like, no, no big deal. He says, it's there. He says, whenever you come get it. And then a guy showed up there today, and he had tons of help to help me load it. So, And then this one here. It broke my left. Yeah, so that's why I took the trailer. And I made sure I put it right over the wheel well. So, because it's heavy. It's it's a brute. So, it does, it doesn't, it's not, at least it's not seized, which is a good thing. So, and it's a Mastercraft, which is Canadian Tire. So, it's an oldie. She's an oldie. <laughs> I don't know what's with the block of wood. <laughs> uh, older people, I guess. I think it was just too heavy for the, the older gentleman, I think. That's what it was. So, I got a phone call last night because it was sitting across. Because when I went in to get it, um... It was across the street at the older gentleman, and um, I, it broke my left. It took the uh, the cable off it. I think maybe the cable was getting wore too, but it, it snapped it. So um, the guy that lived across the street, I knew him. I grew up to school. I went to school with him and grew up with him, so I knew who he was. So he put it over to his place, and it's been sitting there since. Well, it's been sitting there over a month, month and a half. It's been sitting at his place, and he called me last night. And he's like, "You didn't forget?" I'm like, "Yeah, I just, I knew it was there. I was just trying to." Bangle these two things together to do it all at once so it wasn't a wasted trip to town so because this here i was not using the lift on again in case it snapped it again so but anyhow that's that's the story on that guys in case you were wondering <laughs> and what will i do with this um probably cut it up probably i'm gonna take it and dump it up behind the uh up there for now and if someone down the road it might sit around here for a couple years before i get around to cutting it up because i haven't had to that I bring stuff in, and it takes me years to cut stuff up, or it takes me years to do it. This, though, I'm going to put over with the other ones, and I'm actually going to get a hold of my uncle. He fixes stuff like this and see if he's interested in it, and uh, if I get my scrap money out of it, and he can make some money out of it, and so be. He's retired. He's like, I don't know, I think he's in his, I think he's in his 80s, my uncle is. So, and he just tinkers. That's what he does. He just, you know. He's retired, kind of, obviously. That's what he used to do. He used to work for the township, and he used to fix um, everything, lawnmowers and stuff. Um, when they had, like, the... the were, at that time, they had, like, um, uh, they cut the grass on the... They used to call it roadside mowing and stuff. And the city used to do it and stuff, and he used to work for that. And he worked on all small engines, big engines. He worked on everything. So he's very knowledgeable when it comes to all that stuff. So, but, uh, yeah. So he's always looking for stuff, and he was actually over at uh, my sister's 
and I wish she had told the daughter that I had some stuff, but I'll give him a call in here today. When I get done here, I got some phone calls to make and stuff. So I gotta make a load to go to uh, Napanee and scrap yard today. I gotta clean some stuff. So I gotta do that yet. And it's getting windy because we're calling for rain today. So I don't know if we're gonna get the rain or not. I'm kinda hoping we don't. I've had my fill of rain already. I gotta wrap these back up. But anyhow guys, I'll let you know what I'm doing the rest of the day. I don't know yet. Well, I'm all over the place. <laughs> Who knows? Well, I had a quick little pickup. I had to run over and pick up this real quick. Now I gotta get down and check. I don't even know what that is. Like that, I guess it sits. What are they? There's two of them like that. There's no one in my truck. Uh, you guys know what that is? I have no idea. I don't know, guys. Uh, anyhow, the dryer's got to come off. It's a dryer, guys. Ugh. They uh, hacked the cord, apparently, thinking that, what, I was keeping it? Please. The amount of cords I get in a year is ridiculous. What if there's any money in it? What do you think? Money? Came from a really nice house. Eh, eh, eh. No money! <laughs> Unless there's money inside, like dollar bills. I remember I took a $5 bill at a one one time. No, I'm sorry. $10 bill. There was a $10 bill in a dryer one time. And that dryer, the story on it was, I pushed it around almost all winter. And finally, I broke down and took it apart. And there was a $10 bill in it. Yeah. How about that, guys? So you never know what's in a dryer. So you should always check them. Yeah, there's some racks. I don't know. I guess maybe, they, do they belong to it? I don't know. You tell me, guys. But there's one more of them up there at the front. So I got to pull that out. So... I'm gonna throw them off, I'm gonna take Dolly off, and then I'm off to uh, the city again. This was just a neighbor, not too far away. Called me and said, hey, come come pick it up. So I said, sure, I'll be right over. So there it is, free dryer. More money, guys, a little nice cord on it. And like I said, the other piece of the cord is actually up there. So, yeah, and it's raining, yeah. So I did get some stuff done today. I did make it in the scrapyard, though. Let's see, I got the insulation board for the house to put on this weekend. Hopefully it doesn't rain all weekend. Uh, I got some more cleaned up over there by the uh, uh, furnace uh, As you can see I didn't get anything done here nothing. I've added to the pile if that means anything That's all I ever do is add to it I don't ever get to get taken out anymore and the trailers over there because it's got my phone board on it I don't want anybody coming in and scooping it off that stuff is expensive Yeah, you wouldn't even want to know what I spent what's in that just on that trailer load right now. Whoo! Yeah, and then we should not put siding on yet. I was putting brand new siding. I'm taking off all the old siding off the house and uh, We're putting up brand new siding and the next year I'm gonna do with the roof so yeah, I got lots to do guys. Lots, lots, lots. So yeah, but anyhow, I'll get back to you. Yeah, forgot to tell you guys and show you guys what I got last night. I got a wash machine and a bunch of more vacuum cleaners. So I'm just throwing them off. So still got the motor in it. I still got all the wire on it. Yeah. And then like I said, I threw the wash machine down there with the big stuff. Put all the, these up here so I can just do them all at once. I set up the back of my truck. Just not today, though, guys, because today we are ripping the siding off. We're gonna get that done and get that on. I still got this to go in, this to go in, this to go in around back. That's gonna get moved over to the other side because I may not get around to doing those. So I move that blue head up here. At least now I can get at it. So even if in the winter, if I have to. And I got all this here. This got to go yet. This is all got to be cashed in this bit here. And these are going around back. This, 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 and we got some big old chunks of brass too. Brass in there, and that big side in there piece is brass. Got to take um, an Allen wrench to that. It's got like a little, yeah, holding it in. This one I got to cut off, cut off saw. Well, Brian does. But anyhow, so I almost forgot. Oh yeah, and there's all my aluminum rims. And there's one up top, way up there somewhere, along the edge. So far, that's not bad. That's coming along. Tore off all the old. Whee! <laughs> Not really. Lori's actually scared of heights, guys, so she doesn't like ladders, so that's why we use the tractor. She got the whole bucket. It's coming along, though. So we just got the side to go on next weekend. Looking better already. Got gaps to fill in yet with the fob sheets and stuff that we cut off and stuff. So, but it, it's coming. 